Welcome back to another House of the Dragon Sunday. It doesn't even feel like a week went by. This was the quickest week ever. Um, but yeah, I guess a week ago, Eric and Eric fought inside of Dragonstone in Renera's bedroom. They both died. We currently have Damon flying over to Harrenhal. We're probably going to see that this episode to recruit uh, an army for Renera. We have Bela scouting over King's Landing with Moondancer. Might see a little bit of that too. Don't know how she really like scouts over and watches down. Everyone would just look like ants below. Don't know what she's looking out for. Maybe to see if any dragons fly away, then she can fly all the way back to Dragonstone and warn them or something. I don't know. Don't know how that works. They don't have binoculars or anything, but we will see, I guess. Otto was going back to Old Town or High Garden, I guess, is what Allison told him to go. So yeah, he probably won't be here anymore for the rest of the season or something, or we'll just see him in a different location. I do want more Otto for sure. Um, but Kristen Cole and Aegon are running things now. Kristen Cole is the new hand to the king, and that's scary. That is very scary. No one likes Kristen Cole. I really feel bad for the actor too. He plays him in such an annoying way that makes everyone hate the person. You're meant to hate them. Somehow that translates to people thinking Kristen Cole is a real guy and they go hate him on Instagram and he has to like block them all and stuff. There's a lot of hate going around for him. First, it's so stupid. Why do people not, how do they not separate the actor from the character? Completely different people. But yeah, he's playing him really well right now. So good job. Anyways, let's hop into this episode. If you've been enjoying House of the Dragon on the channel, definitely go check out season one. Check out the boys that's currently going, the acolyte that's currently going, everything else on the channel. Leave a like, subscribe, tell me your thoughts on the episode once it's over, and let's hop into it. Put the boundary stones back. We didn't move them. Why did they move themselves then? Medieval bullies. It's Brackenland. Babe killer. What did you say? Your false queen Rhaenyra is a kinslayer. Your uncle declared for Aegon, did he? Interesting, okay. I kind of like this yellow guy more though. <laughs> He just might kill you. Is... Is that him? Is that, is that the guy? Uh... Yeah, he's got the horse. The, uh, yeah. What happened here? Oh no. Oh my gosh. There's the windmills on fire. Oh my... That's a lot of bodies. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Boys are starting. Otto Hightower would never have allowed this. Hotter blood has prevailed, I think. The young men have taken the bit in their teeth they wish to punish, to avenge. So she already just caught on that, like, yeah, Otto's overrun. He's not there anymore. Otto should join them. He's way smarter. Forgotten. He's way smarter than Team Green. Alicent Hightower. When last we met, Alicent said I would make a fine queen. Mm hmm You've seen what has happened since then. She came to me in the hours after your Lord Father's death. She knows war is coming, and that it'll be savage beyond all compare. They both there don't want that. There is no war so hateful to the gods as a war between kin. <laughs> and no war so bloody as a war between dragons. <laughs> I do not believe she wants it. She sent a raven. Do you not care to read her message? If you're well, Lord Hand. Lord Hand. Only they'll be waiting. Yo, he is <laughs> not ready for this responsibility. If Aegon finds out about Cole and his mother, he's gonna freak out, probably. He still wears the white cloak. Like, is he both now? The Hand and the Commander? Leave my lane. Important business, no doubt. You've appointed new knights to the King's Guard, Your Grace. To replace those we lost. The last one needlessly, some might say. 
Yeah, everyone just blames him. Makes sense. Lord so that's already happened. Slay. Good. First blood in our name. Both sides took heavy losses, Your Grace. <laughs> I'm not entirely certain we That could one fight victory. did all that. The Blackwoods and the Brackens have feuded for centuries. This is nothing more Those than two an kids to fighting. Their ancient grudge. It's no true war. Call it what you will. I call it war. And so will Dragonstone. The question is, what are we going to do about it? Man, Kristen Cole is silent. He does not know how to be a hand. Otto would be making a whole plan right now. Your lord Uncle Orman marches from Old Town at the head of a great host, Your Grace. And your brother Darren's dragon nears fighting age. Call on them to suppress the Riverlands. The last day are months away. My lord brother Jason is raising a great army at Castle. I haven't seen him yet. I in am interested in him. He will be able to harass the Blackwoods from the west. Should we not aim to unite these armies and then strike <laughs> as one? This council must rediscover the discipline it lately had to be of any use. The Riverlands are the key to the war. Harren Hall is the key to the Riverlands. I will ride out with those I can muster here. Oh, Damon's going to be there. He's getting there first. Speed is my ally. I will turn the crown land houses who declared for Rhaenyra to our cause. We will add their numbers to our own and then turn west, where I will enlist the Brackens, subdue the Riverlands, and take Harrenhal. What say you, my king? And you'll take Aemond and Vagar. Oh, oh, oh. Here. <laughs> oh. To defend the city. To war, then. Hmm. <laughs> He's so happy about it. To war, with a smile on his face. I'm as fearsome as any of them. I want to see Sunfire. Does she remain on Dragonstone? The White Widow, she did. I was told you turned back from your ship to bring warning. I was not believed at first. You saved my life. Mm -hmm. What is the life of a queen worth these days? Mm. You wish to be rewarded. As I would think, you would wish to reward me. <laughs> yeah, I could never live in this world. I would not be able to ask that. I could go to a friend's house. I can't even ask for a snack. Sea smoke. My late lord husband. Sea right. smoke. Yeah. He's growing restless of late. I cannot know why. He's gonna have a dragon baby. He needs a little partner. Reyna. I've decided to send Joffrey to ward with my cousin, Lady Jane Aram. She has pledged an army in return for a dragon, so she will have one. Aegon and Viserys will accompany him until a place of greater safety can be found. I feel like a drag. Tyraxis, okay. Man, giving up a dragon for an army? Ugh, feels wrong. Amelia Clark almost did it. Then she got the dragon back and was like, nah. <laughs> Write to Prince Reggio if he will have you, then go to him. I'm sorry to put this upon you. It breaks my heart to send my boys away, not knowing when I will see them again. But you have seen what may befall them here. Reyna, I need you to be the mother to them that I cannot. I need Bailey here because she has a dragon. I cannot uh -huh. promise to make you happy. But I ask you, make this sacrifice willingly for all of us. Oh gosh, Damon. So who made it here first to Heron Hall? Damon or Kristen Cole? Man, dragons getting to your <laughs> dragon dragons flying overhead is scary. Yeah, they're gonna pledge to him. <laughs> Kristen Cole, what are you gonna do? Show up on a little horse? That's so sick. I love his dragon. With the rain effects. Oh. Man, this place is a bit empty. They really got an army here? We've got to have some, like, Damon should carry a baby dragon with him at all times. That'd be so sick, just on your wrist. I'm thinking Gorod Crowley right now, okay? Cod zombies. But just having a little baby dragon on your shoulder or something. Anytime you need some light, just breathe fire. I am scared. Man, this place is empty. Uh, I'm wondering, like, why is he clearing all this out? The visuals here are amazing. I love it. Just the rain, him being drenched. Hey. 
Oh, okay, jeez, man. I'm claiming Aaron Hall. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> claiming. Okay, so they were all. It, yeah, Kristen Cole did say claiming. I thought he was here to ask for help, ask for an army. But no, we are claiming. They're trying to take it. Cleared up. Okay. I was like, why is he sneaking around here? And it just doesn't seem right. Not polite. I swear this by the old gods and the new. That girl looks like Marie from. Uh, Supper is venison. Maria from Breaking Bad. I've survived many a battle. I do not mean to be felled by poison peas. <laughs> I'll admit that my cook's peas aren't exactly the stuff of legend, but poison? Well, it's an easy way to kill a dragon rider. Mm-hmm. Smart. And what of your lord, Laris Strong? Hmm? Laris is he scary. He sits at the false court of Egon. Laris Clubfoot mm -hmm. is no lord of mine. Clubfoot. Do you not think it's strange that his father... They know? My nephew, Lord Lionel, perished by fire here in this damp place. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they caught on pretty fast that Laris was responsible. We'll find Good. Your loyalty to Laris strong here, my prince. Your grace. Your grace. Forgive me, I, I, um... What's Damon willing to do? Is he really going to take Rhaenyra's seat? Paranor is the largest castle in the Seven Kingdoms. Or perhaps that has escaped your attention. Well, it is also not to be argumentative. I think he's willing to do anything, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. Incinerated much of it with his dragon. Well, that is precisely why we must bring it into a state of repair. Even if we possess the coin, my prince. <laughs> Summon your Lord Paramount so that I may treat with him myself and turn them to our cause. That would be Lord Grover Tully, but he grows frail. It's said that he can no longer speak. Nor seal his bowels. Seal his bowels. If you are successful, well, when you are successful. <laughs> well, <then>? when? <laughs> we march on King's Landing and take the throne. It's a big chair made of swords. <laughs> Interesting armor for the horse. It had a unicorn horn. Oh, it's got a fresh cut. Looks worse. Mayhaps, I should say. My lord has. Okay, so this isn't the um yeah, no, it's not the, Welcome to King's the kid. Landing. The Targaryen. This is her actual brother. Three long months on the road to find my lord father, who served three kings faithfully, unseated his hand of the king. And by mm -hmm. a man from such modest beginnings. <laughs> Hope you guys get along. Full compliment, your grace. Then you shall have a fuller one. Looks like your party size is full. Let me know when you let someone go. He knows Crescent Cole's faulty. It's so funny. And request that she grant her favor. That her Lord Commander may go into battle with her blessings. In his heart. The good luck handkerchief with her grace's snot in it man the decorations around king's landing i just saw the hanging people in the background they're just up there yeah there they are wow oh man oh king's landing looks beautiful we rarely see that gate like that's in the season eight finale that's about it i feel like we really don't see it much the battle of the burning mill how fares Prince Damon with our army? The Burning Mill. There has been no word from Prince Damon, Your Grace. Start turning green strongholds to our cause and burn those who resist. No. <sighs> if dragons begin fighting dragons, we invite our own destruction. Fear of it is in itself a weapon. The greens will make the same calculation. <laughs> the value of a sword it's not within its scabbard. Prince Damon is abroad, and Egon's factions are enraged at the death of his son. You have never been so exposed. Perhaps it is time for you to think about secreting yourself somewhere safe, while we remain here as a source of distraction for the enemy. 
He proposed to conduct the war in my absence. It, it would merely be a precaution. It would be treason. I'm surprised she's playing by the rules so much and thinking of treason and all that when a war with dragons is about to break out. This council would do well to remember that their queen wears the crown of my grandsire, Jaehaerys the Conciliator, a prudent ruler, the wisest of Targaryen kings whose reign outlasted every other. Even Aegon the Conqueror's. I feel like they're going to be building this boat all season. <laughs> uh, it looks it looks pretty good. They're working hard on it. It would displease neither Rhaenyra nor the gods. Reyna were named heir to Driftmark. Reyna. Lord of the Tides. The girl knows nothing of ships, nor even of dragons. There Teacher. is Reyna or there is Joffrey. We are at war, Corlys. Something were to befall you. Then it is well that I am a good sailor. Better start teaching one of these kids about the sea. Man. Poor Luke was gonna rule Driftmark. Tyraxis. Just giving I them can up. Spare a fighting dragon, but I send what I can. Stormcloud and Tyraxes are small, but they will grow. Sending two mind Lady Jane of her pledge and Persuade her of the urgency of our need. And may yet find yourself glad to be out of harm's way. Do not coddle me, Bela. Grant me at least that dignity. I meant no insult. Tyraxes and Stormcloud are young and vulnerable. These eggs are even more fragile. But should all come to ruin here, uh -huh. you will bear our hope for the future. Hey. I was going to say she should join Quan, <laughs> but even better. She's being given four to protect. Man, she's sending everyone away. If this war really ends with Rhaenyra dying, all these people are gonna be like, next season, they're gonna have all these other dragons, little dragons, or two seasons from now, whatever. Rhaenyra's actually being given a really big task here. A lot of trust. It seems like she's just getting sent away because she doesn't have a dragon, but she's got a lot to do. She's being sent away to be the mother of dragons, so. Sadness is a condition of motherhood. There's not to be gained from it. What kind of bug does she have in there? I warrant they thought I had no more right to grief than they do. Surely they lose their babies more than highborn ladies. Mm-hmm. That is probably true. You have as much claim to grief as anyone. I love Jaehaerys, but my concern has been more for you and what you have endured. Helena, I, I forgive you. What? For taking Kristen Cole away. <laughs> I said In that bed. I forgive you. Ah, uh, but she did blame you. There are rumors that the king readies himself to fly to war. And what is it to you? Only that I think it would benefit all of us to prevent our king from being brutally slain by our enemies and <laughs> our hearts scattered to beasts and his court come to ruin, which I not agree. Uh, yeah. I was given the Conqueror's name and his crown, so I shall wear his armor to war. I really? It fits Christian. you. There are diverse rumors whispered on the streets of your city. One such is that your grace sends his forces to battle, and in his courage and wisdom, flies with them. Another is that his grace was outwitted by his counselors and persuaded to fly to war with Sir Criston, so the Queen Alicent may reign in his absence. With Prince Aemon at her side. Good tricks, man. What ten to them then? That might stop him. My father always said he had no use for a master of whisperers. But and you've been a great one. I find myself wanting for one. I should be glad of your talents. Oh, we know he's just like making all that up. I mean, it's smart though. He's doing it to protect him. Uh, I think mayhaps I shall fly another day. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it, it does seem wise mm. on reflection. Mm. You could come out with us, my king. <sighs> Sir Martin has a new squire that wants bedding in. He's never fucked a woman. 
Well, you're sworn to chastity now. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Your Grace. Ah, <laughs> uh, is he? Yes, Your Grace. Yeah, he wants serious guards. Come on. Oh, uh, he knows he's not being taken seriously. What are you gonna do about it? Man, I love one shots. They're so fun to watch. So lively. Everyone has to be on top of their A game. That's a good kill, eh? <laughs> Yikes. No sense of fun, some of them. For you, man of dawn. Dawnish, are you? Pedro Pascal related. I'm the son of Balon the Brave. Bastard brother to Prince Damon and the late King Viserys. Uncle to the one true queen, Rhaenyra Targaryen. The blood of the dragon runs through these veins, and yes, men would take my head for it. What is this man? What's he yapping about? Yeah, he speaks truth right enough. Look, you can tell. <laughs> right enough. <laughs> By his hair. <laughs> yeah, because I'm their half brother, you yeah, yeah. fuckwits. Oh, oh. oh boy. All hail the king! <laughs> Drinks for all! At the pleasure of the crown! Hey, okay. At the pleasure of the crown! Oh gosh. Oh my. We're just full on seeing that. There's no shot. I did not expect to see that. <laughs> My name is uh, Sylvie or Celsius. We're gonna find like Amund here. Yep, 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 yep. Know it. And and yet you still lie with your very first. <laughs> what a fine, sweet thing. <laughs> <sighs> you see, I do not exaggerate. Such is the madam's prowess that even now my brother will not sample another <laughs> he's got mommy issues i'm so surprised we just saw whatever that was yeah. oh wow they're showing everything this episode yo oh. allison's note read it come on a note something as simple as that can prevent a war or help start one if it soothes your brow, Cole, we will rendezvous with your army at first light. Or if their wine is good, perhaps a little after first light. We're exposed. What? Cole? Oh, is that Bela? Watching over or what? That's someone flying. Wow, they never even checked. It is Bela and Moondancer. Oh, Moondancer is a little blue. Silver. Green. I can't really tell. Interesting. Oh shoot, is she gonna go for them? The shines on the armor. Oh. Oh. That whole field looks like a nice battleground. This might be where it all starts. Oh, first person horse riding. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Bela. Yeah. Trick shot them with your crossbow. Oh, ain't no way. Just burn the forest. Now she went up. Turn around. Do a little napalm strike. Oh, the hissing, the whining of the dragon. It's terrifying. Dang, they're out of breath. Imagine the horses. So we do get to see a bit of her scouting. I love that. She flies high. Just sees a little glisten of their armor. <laughs> this is what you guys are up against. You can't just stop at a tavern for a drink. A good showing, Sir Kristen. You would have been actual toast. They know we're abroad, they'll be hunting. And we must move under the trees and by cover of dark starting tonight. Yeah, okay. Kristen Cole is serious. Man, he saved them. Oh my god. Yes, that was a great scene. Terrifying. 
Raven She's already back. Your grace. Lord Farring has reported a larger force moving northeast towards Rosby. It was not such a great height, Your Grace. You said not to engage, so I didn't. Exactly. Your Grace, we commend the Lady Baylor for her sharp eyes, but we can tell mm -hmm. no longer. The time for action is surely now. Your Grace, I must agree. And request your permission to return to Rook's Rest and fortify my lands. Please. Cole will mm -hmm. look to increase his numbers, and he may call upon a dragon of his own. This is yeah. what I must ask now, <laughs> Your Grace. Jaceris is looking to his mother for answers too. And he wants to go to war. I, could see I it. have heard your arguments. And we'll consider them. Consider them. She's doing nothing. Is she being seen as weak by everyone? I mean, I think so. They're waiting. She just doesn't want to be blamed for this war. I feel like she cannot resolve it through a letter or anything. We know it's coming. <laughs> He's got swords on the door. Smart. They're still trying. Yep, yep. Knock. Who is that? There's a ghost in the halls. I don't like this humming. Uh, is that? Is he dreaming? That literally looks like the back of little Renera. Yeah, that it. Uh, it is. We're getting Millie. Oh, I miss. I oh, yes. Uh, I want mi more Millie. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Stitching the head. Wow. Wow. I don't like that. Oh, uh, we just got a little bit of Millie. Man. He's at the tr Oh. He's still dreaming. You will die in this place. What? In this place? I, I believe that's true. I don't know which red tree with a face that was. It looked like the same courtyard as King's Landing, but the zoom out didn't look like King's Landing, so. They have one of those in Winterfell, too. Who was talking to him, though? Don't think that was the white worm, young. If war can be averted, it is my duty to avert it. Yeah, that's what she's trying to do. I have reason to believe she may be of the same opinion. She sent a raven. She has expressed her remorse. There are fishing boats plenty in the bay. The city depends on them. Damon made the journey unhindered. But if I'm mm -hmm. recognized? You may be surprised to learn it, but most folk pay no mind to a woman who has not dressed as a queen or lured herself with the eyes of men. She did dress up once with Damon. Man, they got no problem just sneaking in King's Landing. Not the best guards there. How's she gonna look? Wow. Full face showing, not no dirt on her or anything. Yeah, I mean, she's pretty hard to recognize. Yo, some of her hair is showing in the front. I can see it popping out. Tuck that in. I'm afraid of Laris. He's like the ultimate security system, so. I feel like he's always watching. Hey, there she is, Fiona. Hidden Blade, who is that? Oh, it was the guy. Okay. <laughs> Interesting how this worked. Renera just creeping around here. <laughs> no, no. Just the knife so she wouldn't yell. Your knights would find me. I would be taken or slain. The not before I killed you. <laughs> uh -huh. I did not expect them to get a face-to-face. -face. Rhaenys has counseled me. She said she saw in you a wish to avert the worst of what may now come. Your allies turn from you and they hear of your depravity. Your hands are bloody to no crime. I could never have imagined you. The trespass was not mine. I'll think what you will. I am a mother too and you have yet to answer for the murder of my son. I repudiate that act with all my heart. Of course you do. I'm usurping my rightful inheritance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man. 
Have you now stooped so low that you will countenance the suffering and death of thousands in order that your feckless son your father fun. changed his mind? No. <laughs> Mere hours before I left him, he had affirmed my right to the throne. A right he upheld steadfastly every day of his life after my mother died. Is she going to realize right now that what he was really saying? Is Alison going to realize before war starts? My father loved me, Alison. And I believe he loved you, too. Was your ambition so cute? He changed his mind, Rhaenyra. He changed his mind. He did no such thing. I swear this to you, on the memory of my mother. Man, someone's got to use a speak with the dead scroll on Viserys because they need answers. They need to hear the truth. I mean, Alison needs to hear the truth. What did he say at the end? Come on, realize together. Realize. He speak what? my name? He did think he was talking to you. He was weary. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was hard at times to understand, but he spoke Ekon's name. He said he was the prince that was promised to unite the realm. <laughs> hey. Did my father use those words? Yes. The prince that was promised. Did he? Yes, he did. This is why you don't keep naming each other the same names. Spoke to you of the Song of Ice and Fire. I guess. <laughs> she has no idea what that is. <laughs> About Egon the Conqueror. Yeah, Alison. <laughs> I'm so glad they're... Oh, yes. The Conqueror. <laughs> oh yeah, the Conqueror. I'm so happy about this because if it was just gone, if this whole war went on with confusion being the thing that set it up, um, I at least, I really like that Allison now knows that this is all her fault. Kind of. That's funny. <laughs> the terrible war is looming. And even victory may be so bloody as to be counted a loss. Do not mm -hmm. try to blind you. There's a blood. Blood. No mistake. Did you not just open your ears, Alison? Connie's on the march, Eamon. What's Eamon doing? What Eamon does. Well, oh yeah. Yikes. I'm so happy this scene happened, though. <laughs> War is coming. Next episode, man. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Millie Alcock. Uh, I loved seeing her for a split second here. Well, this episode was exciting. So many great scenes and locations with the battle looming overhead of everyone that's outside of like the main two areas. King's Landing and Dragonstone. Anyone on the move. It's fun to watch. It's scary to watch though because at any moment people can be attacked from the skies. Man, the opening of this episode, it's just the burning mill. Battle of the Burning Mill. Wish we got to see a little bit of the battle, but it was a nice artistic choice to just show these two kids fighting, just yelling at each other, you know? And then th just snap <laughs> to the next shot. The, just a battlefield bloodied with bodies everywhere. You can't even see the ground. There's so many bodies. Just from those two kids, just like... No, my queen's better. My king's better. Blah, blah, blah. That's ultimately what this is all about. I do wish, instead of just Alicent hearing um, about the Song of Ice and Fire and what Viserys was really saying on his deathbed, I want more people to know about that, you know? I really do, but I don't think Alicent's gonna tell anyone. don't think she's looking to change minds. She said it's too, it's too late. And it would just be more embarrassing for her. She has to really believe. Gaslight herself into believing what Viserys was saying. The scenes with Damon riding into Harrenhal and claiming it. Loved all that setup. Um, I guess that's where they're going to be. They're going to be building up Harrenhal. Trying to rebuild it and lay an army there, I guess. It has enough space to house a lot of people. So, Oh, that scene of... Bela flying over with Moon Dancer. I loved that. Favorite scene of this episode for sure. 
Uh, I could, I can't tell. She really wanted to burn them. She did, right? She wasn't just diving down there to scare them. I mean, she she specifically told Rhaenyra she wouldn't engage, and that kind of was engaging. I mean, it definitely was, but she didn't kill any of them. So, could she have? I don't know. They kind of escaped in the forest first. I don't know. I think if she had the opportunity, if they weren't so near to the forest, would she have burnt them? Probably. The faces she was making and everything seemed like she wanted bloodshed. She was excited, and so was I. <laughs> I was excited. Loved that scene, just diving down there. Oh, terrifying. I feel like a lot of next episode is going to be like that. Uh, we've all heard episode four is going to be a battle that dethrones a lot of Game of Thrones battles gonna be competing uh, against some of those so it's gonna be a big one and yeah i feel that setup here i feel like it's just looming overhead i'm really excited to see if chris and cole and his squad arrive to heron hall because damon's waiting for them i really feel chris and cole and the rest of those people um like allison's brother could all die next episode if they get to heron hall and damon's still there but all, all this stuff is happening, like, out of order that we're seeing it. Like, we, I don't even know. Like, Bela was just over Chris and Cole, and then the next scene, she was back at Dragonstone. So they can get around really quick, but at the same time, like, we don't know the uh, timelines of what exactly is happening. Damon might already be on his way back to Dragonstone by the time Chris and Cole arrives to Heron Hall or whatever. Renera already went from Dragonstone on a boat to King's Landing, so, like, stuff's happening quick. And we don't know exactly when the next scene is happening. We don't know where everybody else is in relation. Because people are just moving around so fast right now. A lot of the time because of dragging back. But also, there's just a lot that has to be done. So, they're skipping around. Aegon badly wants to fly in on Sunfire and fight. So, I would do want to see that. I really do. He's got Aegon the Conqueror's armor on. Aemond is being bullied by his brother right now. He probably wants to set out on Vagar. Uh, he keeps getting held back, but soon he might not, he just might not listen. He's got the bigger dragon, become his own person and fly out. Kristen Cole might need that backup after seeing Bela. Um, I don't want any of these people to die, man. Uh, like the kids, I don't want Bela to die, I don't want Jaceris to die. Reyna was just sent out with Joffrey and some other kids, I don't exactly know their names. Um, I feel like they just keep adding more kids, but I don't think so. <laughs> it's just, they're just there. I think one of them was Viserys, actually. Didn't they name a kid Viserys? So Viserys, Joffrey, and Reyna all sent um, to go give dragons to people in Pentos or wherever. I, I forgot exactly where. But they're giving dragons away for for an army. And then they also have four dragon eggs to protect. Um, I do want to like just watch another video. I Before House of Dragon Season 2 came out, I watched a video on the family tree breakdown just so I can remember and then all the dragon names and everything, but I'm already forgetting, and there's dragons having babies, and there's eggs of dragons, unnamed dragons, dragons we you have barely seen on screen but only heard mentions of. And by the end of this, I really do want to get to know all of them. They all have really sick names like Sea Smoke, Moon Dancer, uh, all the ones that sound similar, like uh, Tyraxis, uh, whatever, all of them. I know they're just like mother to the dragons. And Cyrax, Luke's dragon that died was... Rhaenyra's dragon's baby so but yeah lots of dragons lots of people's names a lot of that's gonna change soon because there's gonna be a lot of death and then we won't have to memorize their names love that both Rhaenyra and Alicent now know about the Song of Ice and Fire and what exactly happened with Viserys naming Aegon to uh, be the king because yeah whenever you have something like that where the characters just don't know something but the viewers do it's gets it builds up and it gets annoying so I'm so glad that they know now. I hope Rhaenyra tells even more people that Viserys really did. Like, Allison wasn't lying, but, you know, now she's holding in that lie. Also, there was the Daemon's dream. Someone with black hair telling him that this is the place he's going to die, which was one of the red trees or white trees that have, like, drips red blood or whatever. One of those weird trees. Looked like the one in King's Landing. Looked like the same place... Uh, but when it zoomed out, it didn't at all look like King's Landing, I feel like. But maybe it was? I don't know. It was that night. Kind of weird. I'll, I'll see it again while editing. But yeah, I don't exactly know who was talking to him. Could have been the White Worm. Because 
not many people that have black hair, I feel like, that look like that. But accent and everything was different, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner and then edit this for you guys to get it out tonight. So that is all for now. I'll be talking about this more on Twitter. I just yap about the current running shows, The Boys, House of the Dragon, The Acolyte on Twitter. So follow me there if you want to hear more. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 20,000 subs this year. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and edit. So I'll see you guys on the next one next week.